Well, the corruption charges against the utility ComEd have been dropped. The federal judge dropping that three years to the date for whenever a deferred prosecution agreement was entered between ComEd and federal prosecutors, where ComEd admitted to taking part in a nearly decade-long bribery scheme involving then, it was only known three years ago, Public Official A, which the further you read into the deferred prosecution agreement, Public Official A was House Speaker Michael Madigan at that time, the longest serving House Speaker in state government history, let alone in other state governments as well. I don't think people realize just how uh, historic Madigan's reign was here in Illinois. He'd been in the General Assembly for 50 years. Uh, Most of that, he rose to the top being House Speaker for all but two years since 1983 until he was uh, replaced in 2021. Uh, Then you had the former Speaker also, the chair of the Democratic Party of Illinois, where he was the uh, decider on how state party funds were used in politics. So that nexus of power that Madigan had for decades, uh, you could see how the, the allegations that have been proven in courts with the ComEd 4 guilty verdicts, you could see how uh, these types of things could possibly, uh, with, uh, with that amount of power, take place. Madigan's pleaded not guilty. He faces 22 counts in the ComEd case. He faces an additional count in a separate AT&T case, but he's pled not guilty. He faces trial next year, so we'll be watching that closely. But three years ago, yesterday, to the date, the deferred prosecution agreement was entered and ComEd agreed to pay $200 million. Uh, And back on July 17th of 2020, if you recall, I mean, we were at the peak of the pandemic at that time. Uh, The federal prosecutor said public official A, Madigan, controlled what measures were called for a vote in the Illinois House of Representatives and exerted substantial influence over lawmakers concerning legislation affecting ComEd. The company, prosecutors say, admitted it arranged for jobs and vendor subcontracts for Madigan's political allies and workers Even in instances where those people performed little or no work, uh, they were purportedly hired to perform. And again, under this measure uh, that was revealed uh, three years ago to the date yesterday, ComEd agreed to pay $200 million fine. Uh, Now, on Monday... All right. So last week, if you recall, there were some legal filings back and forth. You had uh, a separate case of Tim Mapes, the former House clerk, uh, allegedly uh, lying to prosecutors and obstructing justice. He faces trial on that next month. Madigan faces trial next year on the ComEd issue. Earlier this year, you had the ComEd 4 found guilty. Uh, and uh, last week, uh, the prosecutors, they filed uh, documents in the uh, Mapes and Madigan case. The Madigan case, they said Madigan's motion to dismiss is nonsense. It's flimsy. And they say they need to move forward because Madigan ran a corrupt enterprise for nearly a decade. The Mapes case, uh, the Mapes was trying to you know, suppress some audio evidence, but prosecutors say the evidence is necessary. These wiretap calls from nearly a year long uh, are required for the jury to hear so that they know the relationship Mapes had with Madigan allies like uh, Mike McClain, somebody who's been found guilty once before and faces trial with Madigan next year as well. So you can see how quickly the, the web just kind of sp- spiders all over the place. Um, But um, Monday, a federal judge, three years to the date, dropped the case against ComEd, noting that the company has fully complied with the deferred prosecution agreement. Here's a quote from the ComEd CEO. With the completion of the DPA, the deferred prosecution agreement, and dismissal of the charge, ComEd remains committed at all levels of the company to the highest standards of integrity and ethical behavior for our business and to continuing to build the trust of our consumers. And as the state transitions to a cleaner energy future, all of our more than 6,300 employees who work hard to keep the lights on each day remain focused on continuing to deliver highly reliable, resilient, and increasingly clean power to more than 9 million residents across northern Illinois. So that's the statement ComEd put out yesterday. I connected with State Representative Ryan Spain. Uh, He's a Republican leader, and uh, he was part of a committee back in 2020 that was looking into House Speaker Michael Madigan's conduct back then. We talked a little bit about that, but first I got his initial reaction to these uh, charges against ComEd being dropped and what he says 
uh, sends the absolute wrong message. Well, if this was the agreement that was made with the Justice Department, um, I I understand the agreement, but it certainly doesn't come without tremendous frustration and really outrage from my perspective. Uh, this is a company who was now caught uh, behaving unethically, inappropriately, the state of Illinois to curry favor. Those actions continue to take place and work their way through the justice system. I think this sends the wrong message uh, to organizations throughout the state of Illinois about what are the ethical standards we expect from them. So again, uh, when I talked with uh, the Republican from Peoria, we also discussed the $200 million and whether that's enough for ComEd, of a penalty for ComEd, uh, Ryan Spain. It's more. certainly not enough. Remember, ComEd agreed to pay $200 million, but derived in excess of $2 billion of benefit in the state of Illinois, which continues to be rife with corruption, that you can do something wrong, pay a small fine, relatively speaking, and continue to go forward doing your business. And furthermore, it's equally outrageous that the General Assembly hasn't done anything about it. That's really the problem when you see a company essentially getting away with it. In this instance, we've done nothing to correct that problem as a legislature so it doesn't happen again. What about, uh, you know, the... uh idea of uh, changing ethics laws in Illinois. Uh, I asked uh, Ryan Spain if, uh, you know, that's ever going to happen. He's in the Republican minority. It's Democrats who are in the supermajority. I asked him point blank, what's it going to take? What's it going to take for, uh, you know, the, the, the movement of having some substantive ethics reforms? And uh, here's uh, the Republican leader reacting. It's really unbelievable. I don't know what it will take for legislative leaders and the governor to take this issue seriously in the state of Illinois. And maybe they will never take it seriously because how much worse does it have to get? It's why I now believe that we need to empower citizens to be able to enact their own ethics reforms. We need to give citizens the tools at the ballot box so that they can hold their elected officials accountable because the leaders that we have currently in the state of Illinois aren't doing it themselves. More on that uh, $200 million fine, Ryan Spain. Remember that ComEd paid $200 million uh, as a fine, but they derived in excess of $2 billion in benefit for their shareholders. That was the price tag put on the favorable legislation that was ushered in through Speaker Madigan. So I think it's a small drop in the bucket what they had to pay, and I worry it sends the wrong message to entities throughout the state of Illinois that you can do wrong, pay a small fine, and continue to do your business. So again, uh, Ryan Spain, the Republican, uh, in a conversation I had with him yesterday in reaction to the charges against ComEd and the bribery scheme being dropped by a federal judge yesterday. But it's not just the uh, you know the, the ComEd charges. You've got the other charges moving forward, right? Madigan still faces trial next year. Tim Mapes still faces trial next month. You still have that ComEd 4 guilty verdict for four individuals in this case. So obviously the prosecution side is still moving forward with holding people accountable. But I asked Spain to flash back to December or you know the fall of 2020. Republicans forced by House rule, they forced a special investigating committee on House Speaker Michael Madigan. And uh, they had uh, Democrats on, on the panel. They had Republicans on the panel. The panel was led by shows you now the, the current speaker, Chris Welch. Uh, so uh, they essentially stifled that investigation, saying it was politics. Here's uh, Spain reflecting on that from, uh, uh, from that time back in 2020. This just shows you how uh, bad things have become in the state of Illinois and how urgently we need changes. I was one of the three original members to launched the special investigating committee into this issue of Mike Madigan's behavior with respect to ComEd. And the people that were in charge of that committee, uh, it was chaired by Chris Welch, who was a state representative at that time. And uh, he stifled and shut down the entire process, insisting that it was political theater. And he's been rewarded for his actions by now uh, serving as the Speaker of the House. So we've got a long way to go, and, and clearly the leaders that we have right now are not taking seriously 
uh, the issues of corruption in the state of Illinois. So and again, that- uh, Ryan Spain, a uh, conversation I had with him saying it's uh, very unfortunate that uh, there has not been substantive ethics reforms moving through the Illinois State House. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. Follow me anywhere, Bishop on Air. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Like, subscribe. Email me, bishoponair at gmail.com. We can connect that way. All right, got to take a break.